Good morning, everyone. I'm here in one of Mega World's premier township development, Uptown Bonifacio. And behind me is the 31-story Alliance Global Tower, the headquarters of the Alliance Global Group. On behalf of AGI, I would like to thank our dear shareholders, as well as our audience online, for joining AGI's 2022 Stockholders Meeting. Despite yet another virtual format for our event, the tone of this year's meeting has vastly changed from that in 2021. Our group anchored itself on stability and recovery over the last two years of grappling with the impact of the pandemic. We have since focused on renewal and revitalization, but pointing to our upbeat, more confident view of the future. The shift in mindset would not have been possible without the insights and innovations derived from such challenging times and the affirmation that our businesses continue to stand on strong ground. AGI had a robust performance in 2021. Our consolidated revenues increased by 19% to 152.8 billion pesos, with pre-minority income of 23.8 billion pesos, an increase of 132% year-on-year, and attributable profits of 16.9 billion pesos, up 92% year-on-year. Our strong showing mirrored the achievements of our companies, which benefited from East quarantine restrictions, particularly during the latter part of the year. Meanwhile, AGI's consolidated debt stock as of the end of 2021 amounted to 215 billion pesos. This was lower by 2 billion pesos from our end 2020 level of 218 billion pesos, bringing the consolidated gross debt to equity lower to 64% from 74% in the end of 2020 while net debt to equity also declined to 36% from 47% in end 2020. AGI's diversified portfolio allowed the company to recover quickly in 2021, proving that our businesses are in the right sectors. This is McKinley Hill, Megaworld's biggest township development in Metro Manila. McKinley Hill and McKinley West combined spans 88 hectares. This former military camp is now a bustling community and one of the most sought after addresses for business, residents, and leisure. It is home to over 25,000 residents, 95,000 employees working in more than 90 multinational companies, as well as retail establishments, foreign embassies, international schools, and the famed McKinley Hill Stadium. Soon, this area will be the future headquarters of two major branches of the government, the Philippine Senate and the Philippine Supreme Court. Just like the rapid growth of this dynamic community, Megaworld also had a robust performance in 2021. Megaworld recorded a 36% jump in net income to 13.4 billion pesos as revenues rose by 17% to 50.8 billion pesos. The resumption of construction activities has enabled Megaworld to achieve higher project completion, boosting its real estate sales by 25% year on year. The township portfolio of Megaworld was further reinvigorated by the launch of two attractive new townships. We have Paragua Coast Town, a 462 hectare property designed to be an eco-tourism community in San Vicente, Palawan. The planned capex for the project over the next 10 to 15 years would reach 40 billion pesos. Northwind Global City is another township we unveiled. It is an 85-hectare property bounded by Marilao and Bukawe in Bulacan and is positioned to be a global business district. Planned capex for the project is estimated at 98 billion pesos over the next 15 to 20 years. This is the Venice Grand Canal, a prestigious lifestyle mall development of the Megaworld Lifestyle Malls. With its striking Venetian-inspired architecture, sites and attractions including this majestic Grand Canal behind me, this lifestyle mall in McKinley Hill 
is dubbed as the country's most romantic mall and continues to attract thousands of visitors from all over the country every day. With the gradual easing of restrictions, our lifestyle mall business continued its road to recovery. And as the economy fully reopens, we expect to sustain this growth trajectory this year on our way to pre-pandemic levels. As the economy opened further in the fourth quarter of 2021, Mega World Lifestyle Malls enjoyed improved footfall and retail sales. Mall revenues rose by 51% year-on-year and 61% quarter-on-quarter. Just across McKinley Hill is Mega World's 34.5 hectare ultra-high-end township, McKinley West. And behind me is the first next-gen store of McDonald's here in the Philippines. These next-gen stores offer an elevated dining experience enabled by innovations and new enhancements, including self-ordering kiosks, split counters, 24-hour Mac delivery and drive through and of course, the renowned service and warmth of our crew so customers can enjoy more feel-good moments only at McDonald's. Despite the lockdowns and restrictions, Golden Arches turned the corner under the leadership of Dr. George and Kenneth Yang when it posted a profit of 869 million pesos from a 580 million pesos net loss the year before, as sales revenues jumped by 26% to 24.9 billion pesos. McDonald's system-wide sales grew by 34%, with same-store sales growth hitting 27% as front-counter sales recovered, together with its delivery and drive through formats. The company also launched 36 stores in 32 cities throughout the country. I would like to welcome you all here in Hotel Okura, Manila. This is one of two new premium hotels we launched this year, along with Kingsford Hotel Manila in Westside City at the Bay Area. This newly opened five-star hotel in Resorts World Manila embodies the essence of elegance and refined Japanese hospitality. And together with the warmth of Filipino culture, we are excited to indulge our guests in the signature luxury service that only this hotel can bring. With the arrival of Hotel Okura Manila, we now have over 3,500 hotel room keys in Newport City, which is the most number of rooms in any single property. It also brings our total hotel room keys to over 6,900 rooms nationwide, making us the largest hotel operator in the country. Travelers International managed to significantly bring down its net losses to 569 million from a loss of 5.5 billion pesos the year before, while net revenues went up by 8% to 13.2 billion pesos. The group's hotel operations posted improved occupancy rates, quarantine activities for the most part of 2021, and renewed staycations towards the latter part of the year brought hotel revenues up 19% year-on-year. Travelers' casino gaming revenues recovered in 2021, rising by 26% year-on-year. This was driven by VIP operations and boosted in the mass segment experienced on the back of loosened quarantine restrictions during the latter part of the year. I'm now at the Brandy Museum here at Festive Walk Iloilo, Another first in the country, this new attraction of Emperador offers an immersive experience transporting guests and visitors into a Spanish bodega and the old age art of brandy making through historic artifacts, gallery exhibitions, appreciation classes, and many more. Through these gallery exhibits, visitors can also learn more about the rich history of Fundador, Tres Cepas, Terry Centenario, Harvey's, and Estendido, five brandy brands under Emperador, which remains the largest liquor company in the Philippines and the largest brandy manufacturer in the world. 
Emperador recorded a 35% year-on-year improvement in normalized net profit to 10.8 billion pesos on revenues of 55.9 billion pesos, which grew by 6%. We saw an increased global footprint, with Emperador registering record sales and profits during the year. This was brought about by the company's global reach, spanning over 100 countries and improving traction of its premium single malt Scotch whiskey and Spanish Brandy de Jerez products to markets in Europe, North America, and Asia, mostly in China. We notched the following milestones. White & Mackay, the fifth largest whiskey manufacturer globally, is now the sixth biggest single malt whiskey procurer in the world. Three of Emperador's products ranked among the top 20 global brands, namely Dalmore at number 7, Jura at number 13, and Tamnavulin at number 20. Fundador, the world's best brandy, and the oldest brandy and sherry maker with 300 years of brandy heritage, has managed to gain leading positions in key global markets. It is number one in Canada, Mexico, Colombia, Spain, Italy, Equatorial Guinea, and the Philippines. Meanwhile, it is number three in the US and the UK. Welcome to Iloilo Business Park here in Mandoriao, Iloilo City. At 72 hectares, this is Mega World's largest township outside Luzon and is envisioned as the main central business district of this city. Home to world-class hotels and residences, museums, lifestyle malls, and office buildings, this bustling township is one of Megaworld's most awarded townships, winning the Best Township Development for Asia at the Asia Property Awards and the Best Township Development in the Philippines at the Philippines Property Awards. Behind me are our office towers, which were recently acquired and added to the growing portfolio of Emreet Inc. Emreet Inc. is a wholly owned subsidiary of Megaworld, designated to operate as a real estate investment trust with the vision of becoming Asia's largest office REIT. MREIT has launched one of the Philippines' largest REIT offering with a portfolio covering prime office spaces and mixed-use properties located in Megaworld Townships. AGI unlocked the value of its investment properties through Megaworld. On October 1, 2021, Megaworld's flagship REIT, MREIT Inc., was successfully listed in the PSC from an initial portfolio of 228,000 square meters of gross leasable area, MREIT now has 280,000 square meters covering 14 grade A and PESA accredited buildings. These properties are located in three of its townships, McKinley Hill, Eastwood City, and Iloilo Business Park. Recently, MREIT announced its plan to acquire some 20 billion pesos worth of office assets, which will be done through a combination of tax-free exchange arrangement and some debt. The planned transaction could further expand MREIT's portfolio to up to 450,000 square meters gross leasable area and bring its asset under management to 1.4 billion US dollars. This will help fulfill its commitment to be among the fastest growing REITs in Southeast Asia. The pandemic brought about many vital learnings, as well as reinforced long-held realizations, particularly that people are the most important resource. AGI continues to focus on the health, welfare, and well-being of its people. The group did not retrench any of its employees, continuing instead to provide full benefits for them across our business segments. In 2020, we launched our Agi Immunity Program, our conglomerate-wide free vaccination program for all employees and other stakeholders, as well as our employees, family members, and dependents. The program continues to run, extending its reach to various communities near Megaworld's townships. The group, in fact, tapped a number of Megaworld lifestyle mall locations to serve as accessible vaccination areas. This is 8 Campus Place, the country's first LEED Gold Certified Building 
for business process outsourcing companies. LEAD, which stands for Leadership in Energy and Environment Design, is the most widely accepted and recognized green building rating system worldwide. Building green office towers like this and creating communities that promote sustainability are a major thrust of Alliance Global. And as the world continues to work towards a post-pandemic reality, sustainability is more than ever a linchpin of our group's strategies. In 2021, we continue to pursue our sustainability endeavors enshrined under our Sustain Agility program, which was launched in 2020. Among our sustainability initiatives are the following. Earlier, I mentioned that AGI is focused on renewal and revitalization. The group has always been adept at future-proofing its businesses, but we are eager to stage the future of AGI in alignment with our optimistic outlook. We are a conglomerate in motion. We believe that with the sectors we are in, we will very much benefit from the pent-up spending resulting from the further reopening of the economy. For this reason, we are allocating 60 billion pesos for this year's capex, intended to strengthen our existing businesses and ensure that they bounce back to achieve and even surpass pre-pandemic levels. AGI also sees the tourism sector as a renewed bright spot, especially as it rebounds from the standstill brought about by the pandemic. We continue to bet big on its recovery. To date, between Megaworld and Travelers, the group owns the biggest number of hotel room keys, totaling 6,900 all over the Philippines. Moving forward, Megaworld is looking to launch over 2,600 hotel room keys from this year to 2023. This is staging the future for us. As we prepare for the further reopening of the economy, AGI continues to look at the future with optimism and confidence. Whether through difficulty or opportunity, we remain committed to provide long-term value for our shareholders and to take care of the different communities that are a fabric and lifeblood of our nation. Thank you.